In this video, I want to look at the origin, insertion, action of the rectus femoris muscle. This is the only muscle of the thigh that we need to know on the anterior thigh that we need to know the origin, insertion, and action for. And let's do a quick review of bony anatomy uh, before I really get started. I want to use a purple um, color here just to give you guys a little bit of an idea. So we see here the pubic synthesis. Here's the underside of the pubis. We have the obturator foramen. We have the femur, the tibia, amphibula, patella, and the rest of the coxal bone. The head of the femur, the greater trochanter, and the lesser trochanter of the femur. So if we give ourselves a good little review of some osteology, we can really begin giving an idea of origins, insertions, and actions, and I'll draw the muscle. Remember, we have origins in blue. The origin of the rectus femoris muscle is on the anterior, inferior, iliac spine of the coxal bone. Now, there is a little bit of it at the acetabulum, but mostly here the anterior, inferior iliac spine, and a little bit on the acetabulum. It inserts itself on the tibial tuberosity. I'm going to draw that in red. Now, ultimately, it ends here the tibial tuberosity of the tibia. Now, mind you that there is a little bit of this because we have a tendon coming from the quadriceps down to the patella, uh, the quadriceps tendon, and the tendon, the patellar ligament, coming from the patella to the tibial uh, tuberosity. So these structures all do help to attach to the structure. So I'm going to get the ligament here, and then I'll have the tendon. So using orange, I'm going to go from the anterior, inferior iliac spine, down to the tendon, and have the rectus femoris muscle covering up this aspect. Now this is part of the quadriceps group. Uh, it works together with the um, vastus medialis and vastus uh, lateralis and vastus intermedius muscles. Vastus intermedius deep to rectus femoris muscle. So the rectus femoris muscle and what we will find out is there is a, a tendon that will pass downwards and fully complete its origin insertion. But the muscle itself, you will see some text saying that it goes to the end to the, uh, to the patella. Uh, but we have it going all the way down to the tibial tuberosity because of its tendon and ligament attachment to the knee, creating stability in the knee joint. And this concludes a little video on the origin and insertion in action. Um, the action, if we look at this, that concludes the bony anatomy, the origins, the insertions, the action. This is a powerful extensor of the knee, extension of the knee. But if we look at this, as this muscle contracts, we also, cur uh, also can result in flexion of the thigh. We extend the knee and flex the thigh uh, with the rectus femoris muscle. And this concludes my video on the origin, insertion, action of the rectus.